The book follows the first year of my leaving this Orthodox Jewish world and really asking this question of, once you're off the map, what does life now look like? It is September, the first Rosh Hashanah since the divorce, and I've set out on my own. My three children are with their father at his parents' house, where I spent the past decade of these holidays. My parents, sister, and grandparents are at home in Memphis, where they will observe this celebration of the Jewish New Year in the Orthodox synagogue I attended every week of my childhood. My brother, along with four of his eight children, has traveled with throngs of fellow Breslover Hasidim, an ultra-Orthodox sect, to Uman, a city in Ukraine, the site of their spiritual pilgrimage. And I am fleeing to Kripalu, a yoga and meditation retreat in Western Massachusetts. Until this year, I celebrated every Rosh Hashanah the same way I had the one before. To spend this holiday anywhere but in the long, solemn hours of synagogue would have been unfathomable. Now, without the rules wrapped tightly around me, I no longer know what to do. Dreading the arrival of this year's high holidays, I'd considered pretending they didn't exist and decided to go to Kripalu only because yoga and meditation seemed to be the obligatory way of moving on. I assume you're doing yoga, an acquaintance said upon hearing the news of my divorce. I've told few people where I'm going for the holiday because to do so would be to admit that I'm no longer orthodox, something I'm still unsure of myself. Kripalu is a three-hour drive from my house in the Boston suburbs of Newton, a highway drive that, until recently, would have been impossible for me, unless I'd studied the maps in search of easy back roads and plotted a route that felt sufficiently safe. For almost a decade of living in the Boston area, I've been gripped by a fear of driving, steadfastly avoiding rotaries, bridges, and tunnels, terrified of getting lost, most of all terrified of the highway. I had nightmares of making a wrong turn onto a wrong street that would lead me to an entry ramp that would take me onto a highway from which I'd never find my way back. Yet I'm now on the Mass Pike. Cars are passing me, too many and too fast. And still shocked that I'm driving on the highway, I clutch the steering wheel, worried about getting into an accident. The biggest fear, though, is not of any injury I might sustain, but of the fact that then people will know I'd plan to spend Rosh Hashanah at some suspect retreat center instead of praying in synagogue for a year of blessing, a year of goodness. At the start of all other years, I knew exactly what sort of goodness I was supposed to be praying for. But on this new year, there's no ready prayer, even if I could bring myself to utter one. I'll stop there. Thank you.